I'm ready to ball. Let's go. With the 60th pick in the 2014 NBA Draft, the San Antonio Spurs select Jeremy Brown from Oklahoma State. Ah, this guy, and he's terrible. Good night, everyone, and thanks for coming. There's my guy. Your guy? Your guy, your guy was told by his agent that he was going to be a late first round, maybe second round draft pick. Your guy's supposed to be in New York with the rest of those chumps. Your guy, your guy's about to blow his freaking lid because his dream of being in the NBA is still just a dream. Hey, chill, man. I know this isn't how we wanted it to go down. Believe me. Like I told you, you're my last best hope at the agency. If you wash out, I wash out with you. But I was thinking. Maybe this was the best thing that could have happened to you. How you figure that, genius? Better to go undrafted and have a choice than to be picked late by a stacked playoff team where your chances of making the team are about as high as my chances of dating a supermodel, which, despite my contagious charm, are pretty freaking slim. So what's the move, man? This just affects our timing, okay? You just gotta keep working hard and be ready. Injuries, overhyped draft picks. Sooner or later, players are going to wash out and they are going to call you. You hear me? Yes, I hear you. Good. Remember, Jordan was cut from his high school basketball team and made fools pay for it the rest of his career. Use the draft day slight as motivation. A chip on your shoulder at the beginning of a long journey. And like every journey, this one begins with a single step. So your first step? is to keep working hard, and we'll find you a home before you know it. All right, man. I'm believing in you, bro. Make it happen. Undrafted, basketball has been my life since day one. What am I going to do now? This can't be the end. Is my dream really dead?
Okay. I know you've been staying in shape, working hard on your game, waiting for your shot. Yeah, so when's that gonna be? Cause you told me not getting picked was a good thing. It was. It was. This is America. Freedom of choice and all that good stuff. And that is why I'm here. Now is the time. Teams are able to offer 10-day contracts at this point, and I've been on the phone nonstop. There is some definite interest in you. What's that mean? I get to pick where I want to go? Oh, it's not that easy, my friend. I, but there are several teams willing to give you a, a little tryout, see if it makes sense for them to sign you. Listen, man. First of all, you're not my friend. You're my agent. And second, where's the list? Because I'm ready to play. Keep in mind that these teams have varying levels of interest. If you want the 10-day deal, you're going to have to work a lot harder to impress some of these teams than others. Man, I don't care about that. Where's the list? Okay, here's the list. Let me know where you want to go and I'll make it happen. You killed it at the pre-draft workout. I lobbied for the team to take you, but some other short-sighted people in the organization thought differently. I know you belong with this level of competition. Look, you'll be running with the twos against the starters. You make an impression going against the best we got, it'll make us both look good. I want you to play with a chip on your shoulder. When you go to the hoop...
Where you headed? Oh, the locker room shower up. Good. I just hope none of that game you just showcase washes off. <laughs> what? Man, this stuff don't wash off. It's part of who I am. It's in my DNA, yo. Easy. Your jersey ain't in the rafters yet. Yeah, but? But you lit it up out there. And everyone in this gym, including the GM and the head man, saw it. All right, so what's that supposed to mean? It means if there's any way to get you here, we're going to do it. Now get out of here. We'll be in touch. All right, I'm looking forward to it. Move, man. What are you doing? We got our foot in the door. The Timberwolves have offered you a 10-day deal. Why not a year? Because you're an undrafted, unproven commodity. But they saw enough to take a flyer on you. So you have exactly 10 days, 240 freaking hours, to show that you belong. You perform? You got a shot at a guaranteed deal for the rest of the season. We both live to breathe another day. You don't. You're got a shot of being last in a long line of might have been, and I'm probably out on the street, too. <sighs> Living in this rat hole. Hello, rat hole? This is all I can afford, because you didn't get me drafted. <laughs> Let's call it a charming fixer-upper. <laughs> now pack your bags. We're going to the show. Yeah, boy. I'm going to the league. I got my foot in the door, and I'm going to kick this sucker down, man. <laughs> you better. I don't want to ruin any more suits sitting on these vermin-infested couches of yours. Man, it's my house you talking about. Finally. I'm in the league. You did well in the workout and in the scrimmage. He's a baller. You give him a legit shot, and he's gonna make the most of it. I mean, when it comes down to crunch time, there's no one... Ten days, my man. We'll see if he can swim with the big fish. If he does, he might have a shot to be signed for the rest of the year. He might even find himself a spot in the rotation. If not, son, he's back on the streets. You ready? I'm ready, willing, and able, sir. You'll see. Good. Get out of here. You too. <laughs> 